Hello, hello, hello. I thought it was so appropriate that little t shirt. The storm will pass. Not the storm will pass. Storm will always pass. Right? Very appropriate for our little group. Okay. Right, guys. If there is anyone out there who is good with technical bits and can tell me what I've done wrong because this is day three, but I still cannot um, live stream on my laptop. And I've tried the Google preferences, um, Google Chrome. I tried on my laptop the preferences. I tried if uh, it's something to do with um you know my screen or the camera or maybe the microphone i have no clue i really have no clue i'm a fantastic cook i'm an amazing therapist i'm amazing at many things but technical bits are not my forte and and i think you know knowing your strengths um and things that maybe are not the strongest is um it's good for you <laughs> So technicalities is not my thing. So if you can help me, it would be amazing. Anyway, we're not, you know, it's, what's the mission today? Uh, what's the mission? I don't even know. What's that? What was the number? 84, something like that. Yeah. So today's a very interesting one. I mean, they're all interesting. They're all amazing. They're all cool. And... I should have actually tell you about this again before. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You see, I keep repeating myself because all of them, I think, and I find they are quite important. As long as you watch it, as long as you put it in motion, fine, cool. So they are affirmations. Affirmation is I'm affirming something. I'm saying something over and over and over again. And you know when I told you a lie said thousand times become the truth, okay? Your mind doesn't care, doesn't know what's good, what's right, what's black or white, what's yours, what's not. As long as you say it enough times, it goes, surpasses the conscious mind, goes to your subconscious mind, and it accepts it as a truth. So if I know it's far away so i'm not going to show you but in my notes i'm saying i'm amazing i'm amazing i'm amazing i'm amazing i'm amazing i'm amazing and i'm saying this thousand times a day maybe not a thousand times but like 10 times in the morning 10 times at night after about a month my mind already gets sick of it and say of course you are fucking amazing come on right so this is affirmation and affirmation goes i am I am in a statement. I am in a statement. And if you notice, um, in meditation, I will say, uh, I am this. Uh, I am this. I am. I am amazing. I'm incredible. Da, 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 da. In hypnosis, I will say, you are. That's the difference. Because in hypnosis, I'm going directly into your subconscious mind. And I'm telling your subconscious mind to reprogram itself. Where in meditation, you will say, I am, I am. I am because it's connected to affirmation. So you are affirming in meditating in the state of relaxation. Um, and that's all great. And that's fantastic. And affirmation work as long as you are consistent, as long as you are. Um, and it doesn't matter if you pick something um, that maybe it's not as familiar as long as you repeat it and repeat it and you're consistent and you're consistent, it, you will get there. You will get there. But I want to give you another tool, a different tool, where you maybe find um, that affirmations are a little bit hard for you, a little bit, it's unfamiliar, I don't feel comfortable with it, I'm not sure about it. Um, I want to give you another one, which is affirmations. I call them uh, ask formation, ask formation. So ask formations are slightly different, okay? So ask formations is I am asking, I am getting used to the idea and I'm asking my mind, why, why am I so amazing? Why am I so beautiful? Why am I so intelligent? Why am I so calm? Why am I anxiety free? Why am I... Mm -hmm. 
I would never say no longer struggling with anxiety. You have to, you have to always put a positive statement rather than, you know, I'm struggling. Don't ever use words, always positive words, always what's the um, contrary, okay? Rather than, you know, again, anxiety free, it's not my, not my word. I would not use anxiety free. I would use calm. Can you say different? So, Affirmation is, I am amazing, and ask affirmation is, why am I amazing? Now, what happens is, your conscious mind is very analytical. Your conscious mind will always try to seek and find the answers. And your subconscious mind will try to find the answers too. And I give you this, uh, I give you an example here, okay? Now watch what happens. What's two plus two? The color of my hair. What's the weather today? What's for dinner? Okay, tell me what happened. I tell you what happened. You will not stop this. It happens automatically, it happens all the time, it happens for everyone. Your mind will try to find the answer. Your mind has to find the answer. Even if you don't want to, it will give you the answer. It will just go like that, like that, like that. It's time saving, it's effort saving, it's, um, it's your conscious mind trying to protect you. Because in different situations, you have to act like this. Okay, so if you walking through the street, you have to act like this. Maybe this is not a good um, example because there is a peripheral vision and you know, you need to look around and stuff. Um, but in case of danger, in case of different situations, your mind needs to react and do things quickly. That's why your mind, when someone asks a question, when you ask a question, your mind automatically will seek for the answer, will seek for the answer, will seek for the answers. Most of the time it will be the correct answer, but it will try to find it. And that's why ask formations are really, really cool. Because if I am saying, I am amazing, but deep down, I don't believe it. Deep down, I'm insecure. I'm, I'm not feeling great about myself. I'm maybe feeling overweight. I'm maybe feeling, um, you know, I'm not my best. I'm anxious. I'm depressed. Um, I'm an introvert. I feel uncomfortable around people. I don't have a great job. I don't feel that I'm ambitious in my, all these different things. And here, comes, you know, B and tells you, oh, you're amazing, you're amazing. And your brain is like, are you kidding? And I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm saying let's introduce a different way, a more delicate way for your mind to accept slowly and get uh, to, to the stage. Because So I would say ask formation would be first. And then once your, your mind will be like, yeah, sure, sure. So the ask formation is cool because then you're asking a question. So why am I so amazing? And your mind will try to answer the same thing like I said two, what's two plus two and your mind will say it's four right one plus one is two it will be so automatic so if you ask a question why am I so amazing your mind will bring you the answer because I'm a great cook because um, I look fabulous because I'm ambitious because I don't know loads of different things and it will keep bringing things to you to affirm why are you whatever you're asking for yeah so and then you are feeling like of course i'm amazing of course i'm fabulous of course i'm this so the trick here is to keep asking the same question okay why am i amazing why am i amazing why am i so amazing why am i so incredibly amazing and the mind will keep bringing things keep bringing things and then it will become so natural to you then you can start affirming and you can start saying i of course I am amazing. I am amazing. I am incredibly amazing. I am fucking amazing. Of course I'm amazing. Yeah? So, conscious mind being a gatekeeper, okay? You are a little fly. And this gate, it's got little, you know, 
for the fly to to go somewhere you know because there's a wooden gate and and there is a little thing and and the, the fly can go through and behind the gate is subconscious imagine affirmations more okay allowing your subconscious mind to accept that statement but that statement is in a form of question so you're asking the question and then your conscious mind is saying okay i'm okay to let you in because we are asking a question I'm asking a question i'm going to help you find an answer okay emotions would be okay the conscious mind is a gatekeeper and the fly needs to actually ask permission okay i'm gonna open the door you're gonna come in it's a silly example but you know i know i like um i like little pictures i like humor right so um that's how it works basically and and I thought it was a really really cool idea to to introduce you to a different way, introduce you to a fun way, um, of affirmation, ask affirmations. Now either or will not work if you're not doing it, if you're not persistent, if you're not doing it all the time, if you're not continuing uh, doing it all the time. Look, if you want to heal, you want to get better. To have amazing life. there will be an effort required you can't just sit at home put your you know and listen to me and listen to anyone on on, on youtube it's like you know if you want to lose weight i'm not going to just watch a, a youtube video um or stream a, a lesson that someone is going you know on a spinning class and i'm just sitting at home and and, and eating doritos it's not going to work right you still have to put the effort it's not like you're going to put a video oh this is how you heal this is how you get better this is this this is this. you have to do the work you have to go out there and you have to show yourself some loving you show you show your mind your body that you deserve you because you do you deserve to be healed to be amazing to be fantastic to be fabulous okay but you need to dig deep give yourself some loving we always start with loving yourself and i am amazing i am beautiful i am loved um i am fabulous why am i so loved why am i i am enough doesn't feel comfortable i love myself why why do i love myself and your mind will bring you the answers hmm because you're a kind person why do i love myself because Deep down, you're a beautiful person. Why do I love myself? Um, because you help others. It might bring you pictures. It might bring you um, memories. It might bring you situations that you have acted in a certain way and a penny dropped. And you know, you might be making shopping somewhere and something will come up to your, to your mind and say, oh, this is why I'm cool. This is why I'm amazing. No, I had this boyfriend and he used to say, you're the pretty one, I'm the cool one. And he always said that. He used to say that all the time, all the time. And I, and I started believing, I was like, yeah, he is, he's the intelligent one, the cool one, and I'm the pretty one. And it's, it wasn't the good thing. I don't know why he came to me right now. Because you're saying things, you're affirming things, you're the cool one, you're the pretty one. Um, so whatever you're affirming, make sure that it's positive. Make sure that it's good for you. Make sure that it nourishes your body. Make sure. So the only thing you need to remember is the question. Why am I? Da, da, da. Why am I? Da, da, da. In fact, your mission for today is to write six ask affirmations. Okay. So you're going to say, why am I? Da, da, da. Why am I so fabulous? Why am I so amazing? Why am I so intelligent? Why am I so calm every single day? Why am I? Why am I? And then when that becomes your truth, and then from that six, I want you to pick up one that you want to concentrate on and continue with it. Continue with it. Guys, I cannot stress enough. I do this every single day. Obviously, my affirmations, I don't really do ask affirmations, but I do affirmations and my affirmations are slightly different. It's to do with business, it's to do with me, it's to do with my growth. But I still write 10 or 20, maybe 30. I, I choose maybe three in the morning, three in the evening, if I can every single day. Um, and I write my notebook. I, I write my, my journal every day. It reinforces us, it reinforces us, you know, and it 
you are changing your self-concept this way. You are changing who you believe you are. It's empowering. It's, it's just beautiful. It makes you grow. It makes you confident. It grows your self-esteem just with the words. I'm telling you guys, words are incredibly important. So let's use it wisely. Let's use beautiful words. Let's use the words that nourish your body, your soul. And go back. Go back to simplicity because that's how we start. Those simple words, beautiful words that just gives you a big, big cuddle, gives you a big hug. So I don't know. Why am I amazing? Why am I fabulous? Why am I great? Why am I so slim? Even if you're not slim yet, you will bring that. You will bring that. You want to lose weight? You get to uh, whatever weight you want and I want you to write it down every single day. I don't know. Let's say, I don't know in pounds, but 70 kilos, yeah? and put 70 kg, 70 kg, write it down 10 times every day. And you will see that your body will try to do, will do things to get you to that 70 kg. I kid you not. Amazing for weight loss and you don't even have to exercise. So it can be done with anything, it can be done with amazing things, but we are concentrating here on you healing, on you feeling better. And this is little, another great, fantastic tool to, to, to get your self-esteem up, get your um, feeling good about yourself and, and bring that back. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy that and hopefully this is the time when you get the notebook out and get going um, and let me know what's your what's your ask affirmation. And if you ever heard about it, ask affirmations and affirmations, which one is, is better for you and um, if it all makes sense. So loads of love. I shall see you tomorrow.